In this video, I will show you how to display code in blogger post. After watching this video, you will learn how to do that and you will also learn how to style your programming code more nicely. So basically you can do two things after finishing this video and applying this thing to your blogger post. Your code will be formatted code and you can change your code style anytime whenever you like. So let's get started. At first login to your blogger blog and once you login you will find this type of dashboard and there is one option it is called theme. We need to access this part first. So I'm going to click theme and it will come like this way. So from here the existing thing you will see over there and there is a drop down like arrow like thing. So we just need to click on top of it and then it will prompt this type of menu. And from here we have to choose edit HTML because we need to modify some of the code in HTML. Okay, so I'm going there. Once you click there, then it will go to the main code of your blogger blog. So here you will see all the HTML code related to your blog. Here to display code in your blogger post, we will use one external JavaScript library. We just need to add those code, not all code, like a little bit code from there to our blogger edit template. So it's very simple and easy. I'll show you the step by step. So let's go to that JavaScript which we want to add and this is the JavaScript highlight.js this is a JavaScript library and here you're seeing I'm in this space and it is showing syntax highlighting for web and it is supported by 191 languages and 97 styles by this time. So here if you click their language it will show you some example languages and if you choose the style also it will change the style also. So suppose I just click over there, the default is there. Now it is coming in a different style. If you can continue clicking over there, you'll see different style. So these are the themes and the JavaScript can be accessed highlightjs.org through this link. Now let's check how we can use this. At first I'm going to click uh, the users button. Here there is a users button. I'm just going to open that and here we'll see how to use so here you will see there are three lines basically link script and script we just need three these three lines at the beginning and it's showing that the bare minimum of using highlight javascript on a web is linking to the library along the along with one of the style and calling that thing okay so just come to this page and click on get version this one this is the latest version and here we are seeing hosted thing okay so this has the cdn I will use this CDN. Okay, and here you will see the languages it is supported down, and also uh, right now it is showing 39 commonly used languages. Those are check marked over there. Okay, and down there are some other languages. If you want to use some particular language, you can also check mark over there. And after that, at the bottom there is an option to download for particular that code block. But by default, the simple thing is fine. The 35 languages it will cover. For example, I think. So I'm going to copy these two lines first. So first I will copy the first link, uh, this thing, and I'm going to blogger template. And now we have to find a head tag. So here head is the starting tag and I'm putting those two lines. So I just put it here, uh, here under head or here anywhere is fine, but you have to put under head block. Okay, head is starting and closing block. So here I am doing a little format. I am removing the space and I'm putting on end tag uh, for the link. And that's all. Uh, the first part is done. Now the second part. Second part is the script line. So let me copy and I'm going to blogger template again. And then we have to search uh, the end tag of body. Each HTML tag is a combination of two things, Easter tag and end tag. So we just need to figure out what is the body end tag or body so i'm going to search that and once i find that then i will do a little bit modification over there basically i will paste that line of code so here we are seeing this is the end of body so i'm going to end that script block just before the end tag of body okay so in this space i am just putting uh, that line which i copied right click and then paste so it will be paste over there and this tag is properly uh, actually closed now uh, this part is done now another one thing is remaining let's go to the highlight js and then there is uh, the link uses and after uses there is one line it is uh, this part is done basically this is the last line so we just need to copy this thing and we have to come back to this html editor uh, of our template and then we have to put it just there 
so these two lines basically we just need to wait and after that click on the save to save this template so once save is done then you will find update successful something like that and then let's go back to your blog now uh, your template is ready for posting the code block so i'm going to create a new post i clicked a uh, new post and over here i'm just typing a random uh, title like sample code and then i'm going to put some of the uh, code like programming code like for example i have a java code already open in my editor so i'm going to copy this part so right click and then copy and once i copy this thing then what i'll do actually i'll paste it to our blogger post so i'm going to minimize this thing now in the blogger post uh, we just need to click this drop down and we have to switch html view mode okay so here we can delete everything and then we can paste this code okay so i'm going to paste this thing and one last thing is remaining when i will post this code we need to include on uh, line of code so this line we need basically here actually pre-code and then class that, that is the actual theme it will create for our code so i'm going to put it there at the beginning and then inside this three dot we actually will have to insert all our desired code, code block which we want to uh, put for our code so i'm going to cut this thing and i am putting this thing so now the whole code is inside this uh, class block right the pre-class block okay so that's all so here you can change based on your language right now i choose java and then just click on preview and you will see that it is working properly so that's all guys in this way you can easily do this thing so i'm going to close this preview and then finally i'm going to publish to see whether it is able to do this thing or not and i can also switch some other mode also if we want uh, but that is fine that's that is up to you okay so just click on publish and it is asking publish to confirm yes it published then let's see uh, let me go to the main live website and check yes the code is formatted and also the theme is there right now we are using the default theme that's why it is looking like that but if you want to change other theme you can also do uh, from that uh, this highlight.js because this is supported by like many themes we already saw at the beginning of the video let me also show you how to add some other theme with our existing code okay so i'm going to open a new tab and over here we have to go on particular website so i'm going to type the name of that website basically i'll google that website name and then it will show me uh, that thing so i'm going to type like js deliver this website once you hit this thing then uh, js deliver will be there so we just need to click over there so i'm going over there and this is the main cdn page and over there there is a search box we just need to uh, put uh, highlight and it will see uh, you will see the highlight javascript is there just access that site okay and once you are there then if you scroll down you will see there are lots of uh, cdn files are there and one of them is uh, styles okay so we just need to go to the styles i'm going to the styles and inside the styles if you click show all it will show you all the uh, available theme which highlight javascript can be supported okay you can integrate this theme with your existing one for example i want to choose this one so i'm going to copy uh, the url this one so you just, you, we just need to copy the url so i'm going to copy this url and then i'm going to uh, switch my theme again i'm going theme and then after that uh, this drop down edit html and then after that we have to modify uh, the existing theme with the new theme okay so let me do one thing this was the link which we actually uh, modified just uh, before so i'm putting the link so here we are seeing this is the link and this link is similar to the other link which actually is using this thing so what we can do we can replace this link right because uh, we are not using the old theme anymore right so we just need to copy this and then inside it we can actually uh, replace the old theme style which is the css file so i'm going to uh, select that uh, block up line i mean the link line remove it and then i'm going to put it over there okay and then after that i'm formatting by removing the https this part i will completely remove and finally after doing that our code will look like this and now save it and then go back to our blog and then refresh this page and you will see uh, that the theme is already updated so i'm going to open a new tab uh, and copying the link and we see that the theme is changed completely so this was our previous theme before modification and this was the latest theme after modification so in this way we can actually uh, change the theme of our code uh, for our blogger blog by changing the css theme of our code
same way if you want to add line number of your code you can also do that so that is also a pretty straightforward it will be the similar step so again we have to go to that uh, website from where actually we get the cdn link and from there we uh, with the link we can actually do that so i'm going to jump that website so that is the uh, just deliver and over here uh, we are searching like highlight then we have to search line number so, and then we'll find highlight dash line number dot js we can use this javascript to show the line numbers of our existing code so i'm just going there and over here uh, there are a couple of uh, codes so we have to search uh, the javascript uh, this line the first line right so from here uh, we can put this thing to our blogger blog i mean we can link this uh, highlight uh, js dash line numbers with our existing blog and so that uh, what will happen if we integrate that thing then we'll see the line number uh, of our code inside the code block you will see uh, the line number like one two three four five six in this way so now uh, i will also show you how to integrate this thing so before that So now let's get started for this. So I'm going to copy uh, this URL. Just click over there and then copy URL. And then the URL is copied. Then open uh, it uh, to check whether this CDN is working or not. And we are seeing that this CDN is there, right? So what we have to do, we have to search uh, what method basically it is calling. And we are seeing that uh, the method name is init line number, this one. Uh, we need to use this method, okay? So just copy it and then go to the blogger template and then put it over there so i'm going to switch my template edit mode again so edit html and then after that uh, we have to search at the end of that uh, body so or is the body once we find the body then we have to insert that uh, method name basically because it will call so here is the body uh, so here is the body end right so here we are seeing this is the previous code and here we have to uh, type this thing so what we are doing we have to uh, copy uh, the enter link like this way so i'm going to copy this link uh, i mean i have to format like a script like this way okay then i have to copy this url then i'm modifying this thing but uh, you can do as you like okay so i just finished this thing and finally we have to call the uh, line number method okay like this so i'm going to copy this line also and then we have to change the method name right so let's go to that page and check what is the method name so the method name is this one uh this thing whole part okay i'm just going to copy this method name and then i'm coming to the edit mode of my blogger template and then i am putting it over here okay and remember at last it will be semicolon and then save it and then after that if we go to our post and if we refresh then we'll see the line number will be there so it's not coming again if try to refresh i don't know what is happening so did i able to save it or not let me check again so here everything is fine oh i forgot to close the parenthesis right so here you see that this line has a script and before that it is calling the method right parenthesis so we need to put the parenthesis over there and then it will work so i'm going to uh, finish this thing by parenthesis so this will be starting and closing parenthesis and then save it and then go to the uh, blog post and refresh it now you will see the miracle so here we are seeing all the line number is there okay so our code is there and uh, be, uh, like left side there is line number one two three four five six in this way so that's all guys is very simple and easy in this way you can actually integrate uh, some external javascript thing to sh display your code in properly formatted and uh, with line number and also you can change the theme that's all guys uh, i think it will be helpful for you and if you feel this video is useful or helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the like button of this video thank you for watching